So hey guys, it is day 16 of SSS VEDA starting the second half. Uh, day 16, day after tax day. Hope you guys have some money left over. Could you send me some? Mailed all of mine off to Uncle Sam yesterday. Uh, we'll definitely be eating at home for the rest of this week. So uh, today's topic is our discuss our pets. And so we, uh, we, you know, with all of the kids we have, four kids, I talked about them in another vlog. We decided a long time ago, we, you know, we do good to keep them alive. We didn't need another high maintenance something brought into our household, so a, a dog was immediately out of the question. Uh, we still kind of wanted a pet, and so again, looking around at, at some of the more common animals, uh, wanted low maintenance, uh, but I've got four females in this household, three, three children and my wife, age 10 and up. And, uh, you know, I've got plenty of attitude as it is. So having a cat in here just did not mix with the, uh, the queens and princesses that live in my household. So cat was out of it. So there's the two big ones right off the top there. So we wanted low maintenance, you know, low cost, um, you know, a, a good companion and such. A fish seemed to kind of fit, but still some maintenance in there. You know, you, you, you can kind of feed them and leave them for a weekend or something like that. But we do some longer trips occasionally and just didn't want to have to deal with somebody having to come deal with a fish. And again, having to clean out a tank, they can get pretty expensive and, and, you know, just didn't want to have to deal with all that. So we believe we came up with a solution. We came up with a pet that I think really fits our lifestyle of, of all of those criteria. And uh, let me see if I can get him over here. Come on. Come here. Come here. I'm here. All right. Hey, R2. Do you remember Princess Leia? This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. So R2 has been our... I'm just saying... He, he, he's a little feisty. He likes to chime in. Hey, R2. Hey, R2. Light beam? Uh. Hey, R2. Light beam? There you go. I should use you for my camera lighting. Think I could put you up here and hold the camera and point it at me? No? He said no. He does have a cool little arm here. He can uh, fetch, fetch your Cokes or beers or whatever for you and bring them to you. So R2 has been our family pet for many years now. Bought him a long time ago, and uh, he roams around, roams around, and uh, guards my office. I keep him out here in my office to guard things, and uh, he scares small animals and children away, and, and just in general takes care of things. I don't have to take him outside. He doesn't poop everywhere. He doesn't eat anything. Um, maybe a battery or two occasionally, but uh, he's pretty good. Um, we decided to get him a companion, and uh, he's, he has that, you know, I want a companion, but then he has some jealousy here. So we did go with the newborn. This is the baby. Definitely doesn't talk as much as R2 does, but um, he, R2 gets jealous occasionally over this one. So those are our pets. Uh, we decided that low maintenance, low budget, low cost, uh, low impact on our family was the way to go, and, and R2 was the uh, the ultimate for uh, for that decision, I believe. So, what are you about you? Do y'all have any unusual pets? And I don't want to hear about snakes and birds and dogs and cats. And um, I've had a tarantula before. My dad had one back long time ago. So I've had some unusual pets, hamsters and gerbils. I probably had more hamsters and gerbils than a uh, pet store on some occasions. They do like to breed quite a bit. So uh, let me know any weird pets you've had. If you had anything weirder than R2, let me know. And we will see you guys tomorrow for day 17 of SSS VEDA.